Today we're going to be coin shooting a local park with the Garrett Ace 400 metal detector and I'm going to try the uh, sniper coil uh, on this. The ground here is very very trashy so I'm hoping that this will help me se separate out the, uh, um, the targets that are close together. Let's see how it does. Give me 8081, maybe a dime or a pull tab. Two inches. Let's dig it. Yep, just a Bud Light uh, screw top lid. On to the next piece of track. Okay, we've got it out. Whatever it is, it's probably junk. Yeah, another another bottle cap. So we've got a strong 86, 84 signal, which could be a dime or a quarter. Uh, let's see what it is. Okay, let's see. Will it be treasure or trash? There it is. Got ourselves a penny. Now right by the penny, we got ourselves another signal, like another penny or dime. Let's see what this is. Treasure or trash. This is why this is why it gets so confusing out here. You get multiple targets, and I still have something in the hole. I'll bet you that's it. Some sort of little ring. 
or like keys. Call from Fran Anderson. Fran Anderson. Fran Anderson. Okay, getting a really clear 70, oh no, 77, 78, sometimes 84 signal. So hopefully that's something good. Okay, we've got it out. Well, it turned out to be a penny. Looks like a memorial. Bottom foot foot. But we'll take it. Okay, so we had a low 80 signal, which is normally a dime, though it could be a bottle. I got a nice signal in the 80s. Turned out, sorry about road. that, my battery ran out on my camera. But we did find a dime here. It's fairly deep. a 1978 Roosevelt which for my area is a kind of an old coin okay on to the next okay I have a signal here high 40s low 50s could be a nickel could be a beer tab pull tab or it could be gold let's find out it's not too deep Uh, it lied. bottle cap. Oh. Okie dokie. Time for the wrap up and the conclusion of the coin sniper. Um, the final results today found four quarters, four dimes, three nickels, and 16 pennies, and of course a lot of trash. I have to tell you, I'm not impressed by the sniper coil. I found that I still had problems distinguishing between uh, garbage and valid good diggable targets. And um, I found that with the regular coil that comes with the Garrett 400, if I'm very careful, once I've found a, a slew of readings in one small area, if I'm very careful moving the coil back and forth, left to right, with very small movements of a couple of inches, I can actually zero in probably as good or better than with the sniper coil. So I have to tell you, I'm not impressed by the sniper coil. And uh, I'm looking very seriously at the Garrett Apex Ace, and I think that with its Viper coil, it might achieve the same kind of results we were hoping for with the uh, sniper coil, uh, but still have the advantage of the uh, higher coil that will sweep a, a greater surface area of the ground. So anyway, that's my conclusion. Uh, seems I'm running contrary to most uh, metal detectorists out there that seem to feel the sniper coils are very precise. I just found that it just really wasn't worth the money for me. Well, there you go.